Batman is walking outside of the crosswalk. I'll join him in his civil disobedience. He's obstructing traffic to walk into the square. I'll join him in his civil disobedience. Maybe we'll both get a disorderly charge out of this video. You know, it's illegal to cross the street like that. Oh no, not the pro-dolphin! Anybody but pro-dolphin! Do you know that every year dolphins are innocently slaughtered when they're caught in tuna nets? Do you not care about the plight of the poor dolphins? All you want to do is censor the truth about the dolphins. Dolphins have rights too. Do you have respect for any marine life? So Matt, I was wondering if you did read my article about you and Cantwell's interaction and what you thought of it. Because I was critiquing how poorly both of you acted, and I think that I made some legitimate critiques, and I was wondering if you had any comments on that. Do you think it's wrong to yell at people for no reason? Because I think it is. I think it's very rude and disrespectful. You sure like obstructing traffic. Dude's walking in the road. Not using the crosswalks. I'm sure everyone's happy with having you cross the road to obstruct them. So that's Matthew Schmidt. He lives on River Street, um, about two or three houses north of the River and Leverett intersection. And he is a chalk hater. He despises chalk. He despises dolphins, uh, smiley faces, hearts, anything like that. I interpret your silence as shame. And I think the reason you yell at people is because you were yelled at as a child. And it wasn't right what other people did to you. I interpret your speech as blatant. Awesome hair. Can you tell me how to get to the library? It's right at the end of the road on the left. Thank you. Peace. Whoa. Nearly caused an accident. Do you see that? He just nearly caused an accident. He killed the dolphin. He killed the dolphin? The dolphin's dead. I'm sorry. It's okay. You'll laugh when I tell you what you interrupted. A dolphin? Oh, I'm glad to see you recording. I do think that's a very productive and responsible thing to do. In fact, at the riots the other day, I went down there when there was some danger posed to people because I thought that recording would be a great thing to do there to document what's going on. And it turns out that the police totally agree. They didn't get any of their own documentation, but they're relying on stuff that myself and others shot to find out who the wrongdoers were. So I encourage your documentation, video recording, and hope you do more of it. Yeah, I know. He made a face and walked away. I don't know what that was about. I think this has something to do with the pro dolphin. I think we, we were, because of what we said about the conspiracy with Nancy Pelosi back there, I think that's what's... I'm expecting the muscles to... The, the, <laughs> <laughs> he's coming back. <laughs> I'm expecting the muscle to come out because we've exposed this conspiracy. Let's sit. I want to sit. Let's sit. <laughs> this image may contain non pro dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> Unprofessional dolphins. <laughs> I guess that was enough. Just walking away again. <coughs> the Amari Company. I hope that dude does a lot of thinking and not just a lot of emotions, because... You know me. Just like, come on dude, just sit down and think, please. Just be like, is this how I want to live my life? Like, chasing chalk. He could be doing so much more.
Wasted talent. Get a job. No, just kidding on the just kidding on the get a job. Part. I think that he came back with the video camera because like I'd like to think that what I was saying was having some sort of impact and he was thinking about it like maybe he wanted to hear more. Like we could try to show more. Uh, he does. It on video. I, I made sure it was on video. I was like, why, why don't you like my dolphins? <laughs> <laughs> why don't you like my dolphins? Some people just can't stand bottlenoses. I think you're right about the whole tuna net conspiracy now. Yep, Nancy Pelosi's got that tuna company in Samoa that she wanted to pay the workers less than minimum wage. See, see, I thought you were afraid, but perhaps, perhaps you're not afraid. But I do think that Boston song is jelly. I'm so very jelly.
Boston was here. <laughs> Where did that whippersnapper go to? Yo! Oh, just doing some chalkings. The dude's out like going around with the bucket right now, trying to remove them. I'll keep up the good work. Oh, thank hey, you. Oh, nice. Thanks, man. Let's see what it is that this man's erasing. Chelsea Manning is a hero. Chelsea Manning is one of the few veterans I have any respect for, because Chelsea Manning stands up for the truth. All this unchecked aggression against the dolphins. What did a dolphin ever do to you? There goes the smiley face. The fact that you have no sort of response to me indicates your lack of intellectual depth. I thought it was funny on the Stop Free Keen page, one of the responses that people had to my article was, he uses a lot of big words. I mean, it sounds like the lesser educated, the more barbarian, lesser civilized individuals are interested in censoring free speech. What do your parents think of this? I can't imagine you call mom or dad and say, hey mom, dad, there were these kids downtown chalking today. I washed up their chalk. I protected this one. You have nothing to express because it's like you're trying to fill a black hole in your heart. There's nothing to fill it with. Do you feel better with each chalking that you remove? Do you feel like you've expressed something or taught something to the world? If you feel people aren't educated, why aren't you trying to educate them in some way, rather than just trying to destroy what other people have made?
but it's not about making something better for you. It's about something you, you don't like and trying to get rid of it. Just think about building something or growing something rather than destroying things. You don't even have a message for the world. All you have is removal of messages that exist. I mean, it speaks volumes, but is that what you want your life to mean? Wipe that smile off that sidewalk. <laughs> I mean, it's like... I don't know, I can't even measure the depth of the silliness of this. At some point you'll stop caring about this and start caring about things that matter. I know where he's going. I have to save the one smile. I don't have any more chalk on me, so preserving that one little bit of bright light and bright color in Keene today shall be my prerogative until five. Oh, I forgot there were any more over there. It's 4.40, Friday, October 24th.
I gotta hand it to you. <laughs> that was some quick thinking. You're faster than I thought. I hope it, I mean, it's like you, you beat, all right, you beat me there. I gotta hand it to you. Had I know we were having a race, if you said like one, two, three, go, I think I would have had it. You got me this time, but I think next time, to be fair, call it out, and we'll do it legit. Like, we'll be ready. One, two, three, go. And I'm telling you, if we do it legit, I'm totally on it. I would totally be the winner. But that was fun, dude. That was fun. Maybe tomorrow we can try it again. I don't have any more chalk today. Do you think if I got you a GoPro to wear for when you do this, you could wear it? Because I think it would be cool to get both perspectives. Please do be careful when you pull out. The way you pulled out on Winter Street was kind of fast. You almost caused an accident. No, you caused the accident because you had the camera on. The camera should not distract you. If, if you're driving and the camera distracts you, you probably shouldn't drive. Right, what I would have said um, was that it's important that when you're driving, you don't let things distract you. If things might distract you, you probably shouldn't be driving. Now that was safe. There was no traffic coming when he pulled out. On Winter Street, that wasn't so much the case. I scrubbed it. I killed it. It's dead. Poor dolphin. Could you give us a synopsis of what stood on this spot moments earlier? Well, you see, it was Garrett talking about AKPF while riding not just any dolphin, but the pro-dolphin. I guess some people just 
Some people just think it's all right to destroy dolphins. I think he's a he's a tuna fish lobbyist. You know, I've heard that Nancy Pelosi, that sta uh, that uh, federal senator who's like kind of corrupt, that she's actually involved in the tuna industry too. <laughs> And I'm maybe if wondering there's a conspiracy going on among these corrupt politicians. <laughs> a pro-dolphin tuna conspiracy. It reaches all the way into Keene.